In this video we are going to learn about EOS blockchain development from the very beginning to the end. That will include setting up EOS blockchain development environment, creation of wallets and accounts, uh, setting up local blockchain of EOS and uh, development of smart contracts and deployment on local blockchain and finally creation of uh, a basic decentralized application on EOS so EOS development requires Linux or Mac platform so if you are using Windows platform you can set up a virtual machine for either one of them so let's get started Firstly, we will set up a blockchain development environment on our PC. For that, we are going to download two packages for EOS uh, development and then install them. First package is EOS IO package uh, that could be downloaded from here. After uh, downloading this package, uh, we are going to download this package EOS IO CDT that is the tool chain and required tools that are uh, necessary for the development of uh, smart contracts etc. So after the installation uh, after the downloading of these packages you can install these packages uh, by these commands. The first package EOS IO, pack, EOS IO will be installed first and then the CDT package. After these both packages are installed we will create wallets, keys and accounts. So in order to create a wallet, we will run KUSD KUSD command that will start the service for uh, wallets management. So here uh, we have started a KUSD. Now let's create a wallet by the command Clios wallet create to console minus n and wallet name okay wallet already exists we will create a wallet with different name so uh, here is our wallet created here is the password for our wallet that will be required to unlock the wallet in future so uh, copy and paste it and save it in a secure place okay for now we will save it here so uh, now our wallet is created we will open and unlock our wallet by the command clios wallet open and our wallet name our wallet uh, wallet 7 now our wallet is open we will unlock our wallet in order to use it so uh, this will require a password we can copy paste the password and now our wallet is unlocked uh, so we can check our unlocked wallets by the command clios wallet list so as we can see here are our unlocked wallets listed so let's create uh, uh, some key pairs and import in our wallet so in order to do that we will use clios key to console this will create a key pair to our console so here is a public and private key that we have generated so copy and paste it so uh, now we have to uh, we have generated a key pair now we have to uh, import it in our wallet close wallet import minus and wallet our wallet name and then we will mention private key in order to import uh, in our wallet we will use private key so great uh, our newly generated key is imported in our wallet we can check our uh, keys 
in the wallet by the command Clio's wallet keys. This will list our uh, keys that are imported in the wallet. Now let's create a account that will be mapped with this key pair and uh, from which account we will sign the transactions and deploy the contracts etc. So uh, in order to create account as you know uh, the accounts on EOS platforms are not freely uh, created uh, so they require a creator account uh, uh, for the account new account to be created. So, but our uh, uh, blockchain is fresh and we have no accounts. Uh, so how can we create uh, our new account? Uh, but don't worry, uh, the EOS IO platform provides a default account for the development uh, uh, on local blockchain. From that account, uh, we will create uh, our other accounts. So. Uh, in order to import that account we will use the same command but we will use the key of uh, uh, EOSIO provided account here is the key for EOSIO defaults account so let's import it in our wallet so that we can create uh, a new account from uh, this private key okay so this is imported in our account let's create a new account Let's create account EOS IO. EOS IO is the default EOS account that we have just imported in our wallet with the key this. And uh, so this is the creator account. And after that, we will mention the name of our uh, new account. Let's say Bob YT YouTube. So uh, and after that we will mention the public key for uh, to be mapped with this new account so we will use uh, this public key that we have recently generated okay uh, so our first we have to uh, start our local blockchain node in order to create the account so let's uh, start our node So this command will be used to start a node for EOS. Uh, here is the command node EOS minus E for enable producing blocks minus P for uh, mentioning producer name. Here EOS IO is our producer name uh, that we are mentioning. Minus hard, uh, hard replace for uh, restarting like a, a blockchain node uh, and the producer plugin for producing blocks, chain API and HTTP plugins for uh, providing RPC API calls and uh, history plugin and API plugin for um, RPC API for history here node us dot lock uh, our uh, logs will be generated here for the pro producers and blocks so let's run the command so, uh, now to verify if our node is uh, successfully started, we will uh, check our node US lock. So here uh, our blocks are producing. Uh, you can see our blocks. So we can cut it out. Now we will uh, go over to creating the account that we were creating. So for creating account, we were using the command this clear create account to ESI our creator account Bob2 is the then the account that will be created and this is the public key for uh, the account that will be created Bob2. So let's run the command and uh, command executed successfully it means the uh, uh, account is created. So let's uh, check our account details here. We will use the command clear get account to view any accounts information and uh, accounts name so here is our newly created account uh, its permissions uh, public keys the memory net and cpu bandwidth that is of course unlimited on the local net but it will be uh, limited on test net and uh, live net so now our uh, wallets accounts and keys uh, all are created 
we will move towards smart contracts development. So let's create our smart contract. For smart contract, I'm using VS Code. You can use any editor of your choice. So uh, here I have created a folder named hello and a hello.cpp file. Uh, that is our smart contract file. It is uh, .cpp file, uh, that means it is a C++ file. Uh, because our US smart contracts are in C++. So let's open it. Here is the basic structure of our file uh, or the smart contract for EOS IO. So let's take a look at it. Uh, firstly, we will include EOS IO's HPP. HPP is a header file. Uh, so we, uh, we will include EOS IO header file in all of our smart contracts um, to be used in our smart contracts. So, uh, and uh, here we will mention using namespace EOSIO to use EOSIO namespace in our smart contract. Then we will initialize our class uh, uh, from EOSIO contract. Uh, it is a, a basic structure or uh, you can say a standard, no need to go in detail. Uh, let's keep it simple. Here is our contract's name and uh, there, here uh, our contract's code will go. So uh, it will it is divided basically in two sections the public section and the private section the public section is uh, visible to a force uh, outer uh, sources and the private uh, region or private members uh, will only be accessible within the smart contract so for now uh, let's assume uh, let's create a function for our smart contract and deploy it so here is a simple function uh, that uh, that is attributed with USI action. Uh, USI action is necessary uh, to be attributed on the functions that will be called from smart contracts or from uh, DF or outside sources. So uh, in order to recognize that this function is a smart contract, USI smart contracts function, uh, this USIO action attribute will be used. So uh, here uh, we have used uh, simple C++ code, void uh, the function name and uh, our parameter. Uh, uh, here uh, name is a special type of uh, data type that is provided by USIO. Uh, that will be in, that will include the account names, USIO account names. So here uh, in our function, we are taking a simple parameter that is name of the user and we are printing the name. Okay, so let's compile the contract and uh, check how it is deployed on our local node and uh, call the function. So firstly, we will move back towards terminal and uh, we will go to the directory uh, where our smart contract file is placed. Uh, like we will go to contracts and uh, in our hello folder, uh, hello folder, contracts and hello folder is our HPP file. Uh, sorry, CPP file. So we will move towards the folder hello and there we will run the command EOS IO CPP and uh, our CPP file name that we are going to compile and uh, uh, to the WebAssembly file and WebAssembly file name. So let's compile, uh, this is the command that will compile our EOSI contract. So let's compile it. So it's giving some error, contract with no actions. Okay, uh, we forgot to save the file. Let's run it again. And wait, now uh, no errors and it means our contract is uh, compiled successfully. So if we come back here, we can see uh, ABI file and WebAssembly file is generated after the successfully compiling of our contract. So uh, now we have compiled the contract, we have to deploy it on our blockchain. So so let's deploy the contract now. Uh, for that we will use the command Clio set contract. 
view set contract command is used to deploy the contract and uh, here will go the uh, account where contract will be deployed in EOS the contracts are deployed on accounts EOS accounts so we will mention the account name where the contract will be deployed and the static path for our um, WebAssembly file and uh, we will mention the ABI file and uh, here minus P is for uh, is used for mentioning uh, from which permission we are signing the transaction uh, here we are signing the transaction from our account that we have created that is Bob2 and uh, Bob2 uh, active permission uh, there are two types of permission active and owner permission uh, we will go in details uh, in further sessions so let's uh, uh, simply deploy the contract now on our blockchain ok we have to unlock the wallet first yes wallet unlock minus n and our wallet name ok minus n wallet 7 ok so now our wallet is unlocked let's deploy it again and great our smart contract is deployed and that transaction is executed successfully uh, here we will see the EOS outside code and set API so uh, it means our contract is now deployed and we can uh, interact with our contract here from the EOS so uh, in, uh, in order to call the action we will call EOS uh, push action and our contract name uh, after that we will mention the function name that is hi and uh, the function name and any parameters that we are taking here we are taking a parameter name so we will mention the parameter in square brackets and in double quotation like this and after that uh, uh, we will mention the permission uh, in all of our transactions that we are signing we will mention the permission so let's call the account uh, it should return hello and our account name that we have passed uh, here we are passing Bob so here is our output hello Bob it means our uh, contract is deployed successfully and our contract is now uh, communicated, being communicated by us through the Cleos command line tool